Welcome back to Follity, your go-to channel for all things royal. Today, we're diving into the extravagant 18th birthday celebration of Prince Christian of Denmark, where royalty from around the world gathered for a night of glamour and festivities. The birthday bash kicked off with a changing of the guard at Amalienborg Castle in Copenhagen, followed by a grand gala at Christiansborg Palace. The guest list included five future European monarchs, creating a stunning group picture that was shared by the Danish royal house on Instagram. Prince Christian was joined by Princess Estelle of Sweden, Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway, Princess Katharina Amalia of the Netherlands, and Princess Elizabeth of Belgium. All of these young royals follow in their parents' footsteps paving their way in the line of succession. The gala featured a glamorous dress code with Prince Christian donning a white tie ensemble complemented by his new Order of the Elephant Regalia. Queen Margrethe privately awarded him Denmark's highest honor of chivalry. The princesses, including Ingrid Alexandra, Katharina Amalia and Elizabeth, adorned themselves with tiaras and other honors, while the youngest, Princess Estelle sported a sweet bow in her hair. The close-knit Scandinavian royal families were well represented, with Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Princess Met Marie of Norway, as well as Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden, among the distinguished guests. The bonds between these families go beyond formal events, as they often vacation together and participate in significant life events such as weddings and christenings. This royal gathering echoed a similar shot from Princess Ingrid Alexandra's birthday gala in 2022, emphasizing the strong connections among the European royals. Even a recent international event, the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan to Rajwa Al Saif, brought together royals from Denmark, Sweden, Norway, the Netherlands and Belgium. But the celebrations didn't end with the gala. The Danish royal court shared glimpses of the after-party on social media, revealing a surprise musical performance organized by Queen Margrethe. The dance floor came alive as Benjamin Have and Amp. Familian took the stage and Prince Christian danced and clapped alongside his family. Prince Christian expressed his gratitude during the event, giving his first official speech. He thanked the guests for making it an unforgettable evening and reflected on the challenges of starting a new school last year. The birthday gala also included representatives from Danish youth organizations and young achievers in sports, art, and culture. As the night concluded, Prince Christian spoke from the stage saying, I have to find my way, even if it leads to a familiar place. I have roots in many places in the world and I enjoy traveling, but home will always be here because I love my country. In an intriguing twist, Christian's birthday festivities aren't over yet. Next month, on November 14th, he will attend a meeting of the Council of State, declaring his intention to comply with the Danish constitution. This marks a significant step as Prince Christian will eventually be appointed as the head of state. However, he won't join the Council of State until a change of throne occurs. Notably, Prince Christian has decided not to take the government funding he is entitled to by law upon turning 18. Instead, he will focus on his studies with a revisit to the funding issue when he turns 21 or if there is a change of throne. The Danish Royal House emphasized that his main priority in the coming year will be completing his upper secondary education, with further information on his youth and education courses to be provided at the appropriate time. So, as we eagerly await the next chapter in Prince Christian's royal journey, be sure to subscribe to Follity for all the latest updates on the world of royalty. Until next time, stay regal. Until next, 